Hello, Banjo. Banjo is just eating some vegetables. some vegetables. To earn something. To earn what? Um, kind of thing, but I don't oh yeah, Almadroka. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, trying to keep you healthy, huh? Is it good to be healthy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I'm eating this first, so I could um, be healthy first and then sugar. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that fan in the background. Um, hello. We, uh, we have to use fans throughout the house to circulate our or heat from the fireplace and uh, from so our, our wall like, heater. Yeah. So we can what? Um, have a warm bath. So we can have a warm bath? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not water quite sure heater. what you're referring to. <laughs> oh, the water heater. Yeah, it's, it's propane too, isn't it? Um, so it's funny how a little piece of technology you know it's old school technology but it makes life so much easier we got this little wall heater over there propane wall heater and we've had it there we've had it in our possession for many many years actually but we just haven't uh, put it in because we want it to be completely you know it was kind of a, a stupid pride thing to say that yeah, yeah we heated 100 percent with yeah, with wood yep i've got Yep, we've got three of them in the house now. We don't have to use the one upstairs because the natural convection, is that right? Convection um, of the air uh, heats the upstairs just fine. Yeah. And the problem is keeping the warm air downstairs. Which ones are more delicious? Or delishler, is that what you said? The noodles are, the rice noodles. <laughs> so um, we've got this is the same uh, heater and cooktop that we made um, about a year ago in our last um, round of videos. <laughs> it's not that, that many uh, videos back because we skipped a lot of months because of um, some health issues. But we've got it and it works fine and I've modified it a little bit and made the opening smaller. Um, for efficiency um, but I'll be honest it uh, as much as I love having having this here it, it's never gonna get finished because I'm just not satisfied with it and that's just kind of how I am with projects and I'm not 100% satisfied with how it's going I kind of just <laughs> uh, forget about it and move on to a, a new project that's more fun and uh, Luckily, other things have been happening. I am satisfied with the structure of the house, for example. And now that I'm feeling healthier, um, things have been happening uh, slowly but surely. I want to show you... Well, <clears throat> this actually won't be that impressive to you guys because we've, I don't think I've actually shown it. Um, we love the look of stone. So you can see behind me how I've done that. But most of you have already seen that. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. <laughs> this is our hand-built um, stone and concrete house. And the walls are about 12 to 14 inches thick in most places. Um, down here below me, I'm still working on it. Come on, focus. It's not going to focus. Um, got different colors down here only because I've put um, various numbers of, uh, of coatings of... Oh, what's it called? The oil. Linseed oil on it. Now, here's, here's the part that coming, won't be that impressive. Okay, Banjo. Aw, darn it. Cats have gotten into the chicken bowl. Um, it's not that impressive to maybe you guys who are viewing because we never showed this part very often. But we did have nothing but just gravel here for, well, the whole time we've lived here really and then during the summer we <laughs> kind of just pushed stuff out of the way and yeah. dug down and put more gravel down there and uh, made right made the here. sidewalk up to the we up to the front porch right here. yep we didn't have that either 
and we just slowly kind of work along and eventually we're going to have this go all the way around the sunroom to the back patio. Might as well show you that. We've made a tiny bit of progress. So, oh yeah, sorry Banjo. The ground is too cold for It is. You silly. You came outside barefoot. That's all right. We're actually really enjoying the the relative warmth out here. It's been icy cold for a number of weeks. And now that it's the the solstice, the shortest day of the year, it's actually quite warm in comparison, huh? Did you know today's the shortest day? Shortest day of the whole year. Something that we never told you. What? Our um pond is filled with ice. What? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you get an <laughs> ice skate. Yeah? If you want to come over to our house, you can go <laughs> on the ice and just ice skate. That would be awesome. Yeah. We should have a swimming party here, huh? Hi, yeah. We should make our pond bigger, too. Yeah. So a lot of people <laughs> could go in the water. Yeah. And it's like summertime. So here's the big tree that is yeah. near our garden spot behind me over yeah, there. Yeah, it doesn't have any... Any stuff except a few weeds, huh? Some of them are edible. Well... But we kind of uh, let it uh, let it slide. Just a little bit <laughs> of pieces of leaves. That just pieces of leaves? Oh, that. cabbage. Cabbage, is that what you're talking about? No. Oh. Hmm. There's no cabbage on that giant tree. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the garden. <laughs> you're right, there are no cabbages <laughs> growing on the tree. <laughs> what if there was um, cabbage growing on trees? And like carrots. That would be and weird. And like beets. Not like <laughs> apples. Yeah. Or peaches. We should plant a beet tree. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're actually uh, real? They're not. I bet there's something like that in some other country. I don't know. We <laughs> don't know about it. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the other side of the house. We took the path around yeah. the front of the sunroom over there. And I, I don't built know why. this. It's just sat there doing pretty much nothing. Look, We're almost done insulating the outside of the house. <laughs> it's ridiculous how look down slow here. things go. There's yeah, rocks. Look down here. And rocks. What? And that came off the house, and we had a big windstorm the other day. But this is the plan. Uh, this used to be just dirt and mud. And we've started making it into a little patio. And last year we put the door in there. Yeah. And we've Somebody kind of made... helped us. That's right. Who? Jean. Jean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> and the wind blew all of our clothes off the clothesline, too. Yeah, we have to clean that up. And... <laughs> A snowman just exploded. Just exploded? No, melted, that I mean. <laughs> exploded. <laughs> I mean melted. Oh. And I think we're going to show you the pond. Well, you mentioned it, and I thought that's yes, a good idea. Yes, we are. Oh. Okay, let's... Flip it around? Flip it around. Okay. okay. Look at all that junk that got blown in there, and then it froze. Yep. And, hmm. okay, we're going to walk on it. You want to show that? Wait, how are you going to walk on it with with bare feet? You're just going to walk. Yeah. Oh. I'm afraid I'll, I actually can't get down there very safely. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're just showing you everything we have. Yeah. And the boys wanted to tell Dad to make a fort over here. A fort? Yeah. Oh, the one over there? Yeah. Just a minute, I want to talk about these trees first. Uh, Actually, I don't know if we have time to talk about the fort. Um, here's our uh, weeping willow. A lot of people have asked about our trees that we planted from sticks. I have a really high water and table around here. Fell. Yeah, so we've had um, generally pretty good success with those trees. This one actually died off completely. Um, and then, well, I shouldn't say completely. You can tell on the middle there, there's the, kind of that, the, Dad, the stump of the old tree. On the cat. No, oh, he's, good. he's okay. Hi, kitty. Cat. <laughs> well, it's named Burnt Marshmallow. Burnt Marshmallow. Um, but it came back to life really quickly, so that's one year's growth. Um, it's a, um, but it still about, about 10 feet tall. have leaves. 
Still doesn't have leaves. Well, that's because it's well, it died in the in the autumn, or I mean, um, went dormant in the no, autumn. No, not autumn. This thing is doing well. Um, yeah. We've lost some trees. I think it's a plum tree. It's a mess, and we're still working on cleaning up everything and getting the yep. house insulated. I did install windows on the back of my art studio here. It gives me some nice north light. Yeah, we Ooh. already had that door. That door, that's the yeah. true back door, huh? And look at this port. It's so messy. The port is so <laughs> messy. It's become a storage space for some things. Uh, like... Boy, there's a lot of stuff on our place to clean up. Yeah. But that's okay. So... That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the trees and that have I done think so the well. Backhoe, too. Yep, and the borrowed backhoe is still there. Yeah, and the saw. That is a wood splitter, actually. No, it's a saw. <laughs> oh, is it is an axe? Um, Here we are, we're going towards the milking barn. Yeah, we don't have our cows anymore. Don't have the cows anymore. Yep, we still love Which them. Which was very sad. We do still love them. Love them. They here, miss us. Here are our trees. Oh, yeah. Um, a number of them. It's hard to see. Yeah, kind of. Kind of this to us is probably the major, um, besides the, the house itself, it's the major um, project that we've um, taken on on our is property is just to get trees to, just to get trees track. to grow. We just want They're not that trees. impressive right now, but it's amazing to me that these are all from little tiny sticks. Let me tell you about that. We always want trees. We do always want trees. Because we don't want to go to the store to pay money. Yeah? I'm going to switch we're hands, just, all right? We're just um buying seeds to <laughs> get um, something so we cannot pay for food at the store. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to do it, huh? Yeah. Flip this around. And this tree is going kind of pretty, very huh? well. Yes. The red is so pretty. Yeah. My, my hand is so tiny. <laughs> yeah. Makes that so tree pretty. look even bigger when you hold it, huh? <laughs> How? Because <laughs> you're smaller and it makes it. Oh. <laughs> oh so a lot of these are this willows. This one. Yeah. Okay. Um, the number one way to get trees to grow is to surround them with mulch. Dad, we forgot to do it in this yard. Hmm? That yard with a fence. Yeah, it's already 13 minutes long though. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. So if there's any tidbit of information that is going to be helpful to you guys, and any of you that live guys, in the West, look guys, you're going to want to remember this, that if you want trees to grow, Oh yeah, I'll show it. <laughs> Speaking of I trees, here, them. hold it out further. There you go. Banjo made that. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. It's kind of almost going to break. But yeah, remember that uh, if you want trees to grow quickly. Break. Yeah. Uh, if you want trees to go quickly and to be really, really healthy, make sure you have mulch. Yes. And by contrast, if you want your garden, if you want your garden to grow quickly, though, you put pour some water in. Water too. is good. Water is excellent. <laughs> but uh, things like cow manure and uh, uh, other kind of that type of what's cow manure. Cow manure is cow poop. Uh, <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Not good for us, but it's good for plants, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's their food. It's weird. But for the trees, pee is the water for them. Pee. Yeah. Is like the water for <laughs> gardens. Uh, yep. For annuals, you want uh, manure and uh, high nitrogen, things like that. And for trees or any other well, perennials, is you want stuff that grows mushrooms, ideally. Yeah. Fungus. Fungus? Yeah, fungus. Oh, fungus is from our toes. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> That's actually true. Hopefully not, but that can happen, huh? You do have fungus on your feet. Not me. Mine does. She does? 
-hmm. I think everybody gets it sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't think mom does. <laughs> sometimes if you have itchy feet, like, that's a fungus, huh? That's not quite the right kind of fungus, though. No. Not, not the kind that grows trees. <laughs> it's probably the kind that flavors feta cheese, though. <laughs> What's feta cheese? It's a uh, stinky cheese that uh, means, feta means feet in Greek, in the Greek language. Hey, we've got Floppy Chan in here. Yeah, it has a big bite. Yep, a dog came Did and attacked it. it. And we used some herbs and essential oils to and put it on, on him and he's doing all right now, amazingly. Hey, chickens. We miss Puffhead. Puffyhead, yeah. We miss Puffhead. a lot of our chickens because a lot of our chickens have died. Unfortunately, there were some... From the dogs. Yeah, and mink and raccoons. And boy, it's, it can be tough to keep raccoons. chickens alive. We have when they're free range. Bunnies. We have bunnies. Now, we don't have baby bunnies anymore. Because they're grown up, huh? They're grown up. Hey, bunnies. Hi, and they're so friendly. They're so not bitey. We're so kinda, not bitey, huh? We're kind of. Hey. Don't bite me. Oh, they're so fluffy. <laughs> Don't bite me, okay? <laughs> I'm scared if they bite me. This mama was, so, was fluffy. so protective of her babies when they were little. But she's actually quite friendly. Hey, <laughs> when, yeah. when they're not, when they're not uh, Babies. little tiny. And here's other bunnies. I think they're gonna want more. They're bunnies. gonna want more food. Yeah. Hey, bunny. We got a few. So, as sad as it was for us to uh, get rid of our larger animals. Our noses are pink. My nose is even pinker. <laughs> yeah. My nose is even pink. But we still love animals and we uh, yeah, even if enjoy we having them as part of them, our life. Even if we sell our um, animals, we still like them. Still we still nice. like them, huh? They, uh, yep. Still nice, even if they're a, a different um, place. Yep. Yeah, they're still nice. <laughs> And friendly. Yeah. And it makes us happy to know that Buttercup is alive and well having and helping another time. having a good time feeding a bunch of babies for a farmer, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't want to make and this video too much longer, huh? It's and getting pretty long. the cow is mm -hmm. giving the people some milk. That's true. To make some cheese, totally. <laughs> I think you remember that. We made cheese videos mm -hmm. with me inside. Yep. <laughs> the I, camera's right there, actually. I'm in every video. Well, it's pretty much your sometimes. channel, it seems like, huh? All right, well, we're back at the front door. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was a random video, but uh, a little bit of a, I guess, a outdoor update. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon. We've been very busy for the Christmas season, but uh, we'll try to make more videos than we, than we did last week. Yep. Bye bye. Uh, push the wrong button. Here, you get a view of our door. <laughs>